I just want to knock off Penn State and Iowa. And I want to win the NCAA. I think everybody wants to be the best, but I think we just want it a little bit more. I think that this is the group of guys that can bring another title back to Columbus. It's certainly the best class, I would say, that I've ever been a part of or seen. So this is home. 16 years ago, when I got here, we were in a warehouse. But in the wrestling world, as you know, right, as we all know, it's amazing what can get done in the backyard with some knee pads and a couple of guys full of fire. So we went from warehouse to this amazing complex, one of the nicest, right, ever built in the world. So you have this sense of community where everybody here at one point wasn't at a place like this. And now that you are, you have true gratitude. And when you work in a department with this gratitude, it's pretty, it's pretty, you're pretty blessed. And it's all alive. In 2015, we won our first ever national championship and became the 12th team in history to do that. Winning the title in 15, it's got to be a euphoric moment. I said we were going to do this here, and we hadn't done it yet. And we did it, and it felt amazing. And it felt amazing just as a human being chasing something that's hard to get. But it felt so good for so many people. We made a decision to pull back this year, save some money. All right, to get guys like this, right, you need, and they're all getting, most of them are getting full scholarships, everyone that's recruiting them. So you needed money. Not just because you have the money doesn't mean you're gonna get them. And one came and it's like, hey, I wanna be with him. And then before you know it, you get, you know, you get one, two, three in the country and a bunch of other guys. And you're feeling like your program is back where it, quite frankly, belongs. Ready? Go! I think that this is the group of guys that can bring another title back to Columbus. I think all these guys have that goal, and I think they all want it bad, and I think they're very excited to be on the same team together. The way this class stands right now, it's certainly the best class, I would say, that I've ever been a part of or seen. All right, we're doing it live. You faked him out. Action. <laughs> the Feldman family is a special one. I'll say that. All right, that was not great, but it's okay. I love you, Jake. You're a great brother. And I mean that in a good and maybe not a not so good way. We wrestle on the living room floor a lot. My mom yells at us, but we still do it. Why are we jumping over her? Just because it's Ella. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ella, are you, are you okay? <laughs> Okay, Is there usually like this much chaos around the house? <laughs> yeah, you met Jake and look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yes, my house, absolutely. So this is this is a pretty like average day at the Feldman house. Uh, well no, these kids are all really good friends. So they actually go from house to house. They kind of migrate around. So Hi, my name is Nick Bazakis. Welcome to my home. We have a whole bunch of deer, a few bears. Like it's really cool. Normally there's like packs of 20 out here. So this is the evening before we send Nick off to Ohio State. The Fazakas family is competitive in just about everything they do. Here at Crown Point, this is the best breakfast spot. Coming here after morning workouts every day before school. Got a little bite to eat. Bacon, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel. That's the way to go. A little bit of my trophies on a Super 32 belt. A couple USA Nationals medals. Here's this one, and you know, that's like the first like Really big tournament that like really set me out to uh, wanting to chase these these top guys and win big trophies like this. So, how are you feeling about tomorrow? You a little nervous? <laughs> I'm not nervous. He'll be great. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. I trust Ohio State. I'm just it's a hard thing to say goodbye to. It's crazy that it's already here. I've been talking to like for the past year and a half, I guess, that you know I'm going to Ohio State. I'm going to Ohio State, and now I'm. I go to Ohio State, and it's crazy that it's there, but I'm so excited. Six hours in a car with mom and dad, and then, yeah, and then I'm kind of on my own. It kind of feels weird. What do you have to say about your brother leaving? It's sad. It's a little sad, but all the attention is going to be on me now. <laughs> I get his room, so that's exciting, but I'm going to miss him a lot. He drives me everywhere, so. It's going to be a big difference and a big change in my life going to Columbus because that's a big city. So I'm really, really excited. So our last meal together as a family with Nick before he leaves to go to Ohio State. You sad, son? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you sad, mom? I'm sad. This was my weight room. Right now it's just when I'm storing all my bags for when I leave and, uh, you know, embark on this journey. I had a great community behind me in Crown Point. Now we go to the Buckeyes and a small great fence.
gift my grandmother the It's been, it's been fun. Yeah, man. Keep it pets, all right? All right, see you guys. I'll see ya. Peace. Peace. Give us a hug. Peace. <laughs> okay. All right. It's been, had a good run. This is good. had a good run. It was fun. <laughs> see you guys. Okay. What? <laughs> Don't even stop. <laughs> this is, you know, right this is it. recording you, right? Hi. <laughs> See you guys. Look at them all laughing at me. <laughs> they are all laughing at me. Oh Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, Let's my go. glasses. Let's go. <laughs> Cover my whole face. All right, so this is the last thing. Everything is pretty filled up. So, getting ready to leave. It feels very weird, but yeah, seven hours. Let's go. Alright. Here we go. I guess. <laughs> Bob's cutting away through tears. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. First stop on the way to Ohio and uh, getting some uh, food. Got some protein cookies because I'm not sponsored by this company yet, so I can't give them any credit. So, got some protein cookies. I'm going to get some caffeine, some monster, and something sugary. Hot tamales. Long story about these. My siblings hate them, that's why I like them, because I can eat them without them being stolen. So, I really like these. <laughs> and I guess this is snacks. Well, we're almost there. You ready, Nick? <laughs> that's Don't it. Show. All right, what's your last name? Mendez, M-E-N-D-E-Z. Person, Jesse. Yeah. So I have to get somebody every time, or is it just gonna be online? At least for today, yeah. Okay, or good deal. Just, like, good deal. Thanks for the hell, appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know how Nick is staying with Feldman. That is a big dude, big switch <laughs> face. That is wild. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Where the heck is Nick Feldman supposed to sleep? <laughs> As you can see, we just moved into my room. It's really small. No idea where Nick Feldman's gonna fit. Uh, we got all my supplements over here. Video games. Bed's all made up. We got some flags on the wall. We got the Olympic flag that's signed by the Bannett brothers. And the Greek flag, because my whole family's Greek and Italian. Don't have an Italian flag yet. But we got a buzzing flag, just because well, buzzing bizarcus, I guess. But yeah, it's really cool. It's getting really surreal and kind of, uh, Weird, I guess. I was surprised how small it was. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I thought it would be about the size of my bedroom, and it just wasn't that. It was like uh, this narrow room, which I have no problem with. But the issue is, Nick, he's so big, and I know he's gonna have a problem. I, I, there's no way he's fitting on that bed. <laughs> I walked in there, and that's the first thing that came to my head. It's just, there's no way he's fitting on that. I think I fit just fine, honestly. Like. The feet hang off a little bit. I have an exceptional amount of pillows, but if I take away two of these pillows, I'm golden. Now the width is kind of what's bothering. I like to, I like to man spread and like spread eagle, so that's kind of my main problem at the moment. But I think I'll get used to it. I think I'll adjust. I you think I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. And if I get busy, I'll just like hop in Nick's bed with him. If I get no, no, you're not doing that. <laughs> you're off the problem. Oh my goodness. As you can see, personality, and then there's Nick. I love Nick. I'll put that out there. <laughs> Nick has two things on the wall, and it's like Ohio State flag, which is like looks like a little pizza, and uh, another blue flag. And I just feel like mine has so much more personality. Like there needs to be more 
Nick Feldman. Uh, it just feels very bland. Uh, it's just, I'll fix that. I'll fix that. Give me a week. <laughs> so what's uh, your guys' favorite items? What's your favorite item? Mm, I would say this box and this rock right here for a trip called Mecco. Those are my favorite items. Probably my beanie. For, uh, anytime I have a significant win, I put this on. It's like having my little brother with me at the moment. It's just it's a sentimental thing. And then probably all my supplements. Because <laughs> the those are all very expensive and I don't want them to be taken. <laughs> What's your uh, favorite supplement? I would. Uh, they need to give me an NIL deal first, but this company. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. Yeah, probably the D's. My uh, my coach hooked me up at my grad party. Just walks in and gives me a pair of Bread 11s. So I'm scared to wear them though, because uh, they're way too nice to be creasing up. Are we ready? I love it. Can I get one more? You guys are great. Thank you. All right, I'm happy for you. It's so I'll exciting. see you. I'll see you for dinner at 5:30. Yep. Love you, buddy. Love you too. Let's just hold up. We're at our dorm and we're getting ready to go to practice for the first time, so we got scooters. <laughs> it's a good first day, show up early, good impression. Yeah. Might have Overly came early. <laughs> Got a we might have overshot it a little bit. Today we have a 9 a.m. practice where we think it's a technique practice, but we could be wrong. They could try to break us right away, but <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. I like this one. What's up, boys? What's up? I think something else. I actually really slept good. like a baby last night. He Did talks you? in yeah. his sleep. <laughs> yeah. You guys snore? I don't. He I just think talks. I do, and I talk. He's in for a, he's in for a war. <laughs> The first time Ohio State contacted me was that June 15th day. I remember I picked up the phone and it was Coach Ryan and then he handed the phone to Bo Jordan and Steber and Ralph and, and Coach Turvell and they all said hi to me and I was like, that was pretty cool. That day I was a full wrestling dork. I was like, I just talked to the phone with Logan Steber. I was like, Mom, did you hear that? Uh, we fell in love with him first call. Like you, he had me at hello, right? He had us all at hello. That first Zoom call was mind blowing. How much he blew us away and his family. So what we got Feldman. That's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, I really like that. It's a good thing there's no picture because this is not a pretty sight, but the name is sweet. Quarryville, PA, represent Amish country. And then we got Buzakis, and then we get Mendez, and then you get Luke Giag, who's no joke, and a bunch of these other guys that are really good high school wrestlers, but they've been, they're a little overshadowed right now. My visit to Ohio State was nutty. <laughs> it was nutty. So this is during COVID, obviously, so there wasn't like a football game that wasn't like a basketball game or a hockey game, something we could go watch as like a team. But they had 15 recruits come in at once. That's kind of unheard of in wrestling. When you bring in a massive class at once, you're diluting that time. But we agreed as a staff and we vote archaically. On the count of three, are we gonna do it or not? One, two, three. Thumb up, yes, thumb down, no. That's how we vote on things. And it was, let's, let's, let's bring them all in together. So we had a massive recruiting weekend. That was about family, that was about academics, and that was about being the best program on the planet. 12 minutes of time to live. All right, well, we'll break it up into three, four minute goes. It was so cool being around kids that were like training and wanting to be something like me, like wanting to be like, go to the Olympics, wanting to go win worlds, stuff like that. That was their like focus. Really cool being around those people. During that visit, I don't think there was ever a moment where as a staff we convened and said, we got them. You know, there, there was none of that. But there was that went well, that went well. And these are all pretty straightforward people. You know, they weren't in it. They didn't need the flash, and the, although we gave them some, some flash. They just wanted the nuts and bolts of how can you, how can you develop us? What, what is life gonna be like here? Looking back, it was wow, that worked out perfectly because they really fell in love with each other. And one came and it's like, hey, I want to be with him. And then before you know it, you get, you, know, you get one, two, three in the country and a bunch of other guys. And you're feeling like your program is back where it, quite frankly, belongs, right? We feel like it's, we belong there. But we don't take it for granted because it's incredibly competitive. Five minute here is cool down. Good job, guys. Let's cool down a little bit. 
Light jog. Good work. You guys are already impressing me. Do you know why? This is a rare team. This team's not usually early. I'm always early. I expect my teams to be early, but this team has lacked discipline. So this is kind of a breath of fresh air to see a bunch of freshmen, nine freshmen, and you're here ready to go early. Make that part of who you are. If we're gonna chase excellence, right? This is the start of it. You gotta be, you gotta get a mindset of I'm gonna be early and I'm gonna stay late. Does that make sense? So, good job. Practice one, you've already, you've already impressed me. Grab, tell them why we're here and, and we'll roll. Tell them why we're here. First, just unplug, right? Unplug from, from the madness of the world for a little while. Spend one hour together uh, to build our, kind of your figurative core because we live long enough, you know, that tough things are coming, there'll be challenges, and having an inner core strong enough to deal with any of those challenges is just critically important. Knowing when to run, knowing when to fight, knowing when to look, when to, when to look away. Uh, so that's, a, that's the, the goal of Build to Lead, to build your, build your core, know who you are. No matter what happens, you're ready for it. Well, as you're going to become Built to Lead, we're gonna practice training our brain to do one thing at a time. But today, we're just gonna go right to day, right to day one in the book. We're going to read it, and then after we read it, we're going to write what we're thinking. Does that make sense? There's no right or wrong thing to write. Day one. And these guys took me under their wing here, and you know, it's already starting to feel like a family, and I've been here for a week and a half. You know, I can't imagine what it's gonna feel like when I'm my third year in and I'm wrestling or my fourth year, or my fifth year, and, and, I'm, and I'm a senior. I just think that that family feel and just how the coaches are, you know, always here for us, you know, and I mean, we do leadership meetings, you know, in the mornings on Tuesdays, and it's just been, it's just been awesome. I love it. I think they put a lot of money into our class and put a, a lot of trust on us that we're gonna perform and come in and be leaders on the 2022 and 2023 class. Kind of the same idea that of like having Steve and NATO and that whole recruiting class. Like they had to come in and be leaders and I think that's kind of like what our job is gonna end up being is for us to step up and you know, lead a team. Being in the right place is really important because you want like-minded people around you so you're driven to do better and support your teammates, support your brothers. It's a big aspect of why I chose Ohio State. I mean, if you're surrounding yourself by people like that, you're going to work harder in the room, work harder outside the room, you're gonna be you're going to be a unit of a team, and I really believe that we're going to do something great here. The, with the connection that guys at Ohio State have, and like a lot of the recruits they're bringing in, they have that have that drive and that passion. And right now, a lot of them eyeing up Penn State, like, all right, like our goal is to take them down. Like they're they're on top, and they've been on top, so we want to dethrone them. So my mentality is, I don't want to go to the number one program. I want to beat them. I just want to knock off Penn State and Iowa. I love some of the kids there, and I love the coaches, but I still want to knock them off. You know, I just think there's a rivalry there. For as long as Kale's been there, there's been a little bit of tension just because of, you know, the legacy they've had, and we want to be the best, and in order to be the best, you got to take out the best, so I think it's only a matter of time till we get our shot, and we're going to be working, and I think everybody wants to be the best, but I think we just want it a little bit more. Hustle in the gray, real quick. Hustle in. The main rule of open wrestling day. What's the, the main rule? What's the number one rule? Both men have to agree that the go is over. Both men. It's a 30 minute block. If you can wrestle the whole time and your opponent can't, that's not your problem, that's his. Effective, good quality wrestling. Fight the whole time, it's 30 minutes. When you both agree that I'm spent, get a drink, take a little walk, get your mind right and get back in it. It's a 30 minute open block, right? It's a volume day, all right? 30 minutes straight. See how much you can score in 30 minutes, all right? All right, man, it's on you. One, two, three. Here we go, have fun. The clock where everyone starts at will be 31 here. 31, we're going in three, two, Ready? one, go. Go. If you're not tired and he wants a break, don't help him out. I didn't want to go to a college and be the guy right away. I want him to get beat up. When there are so many guys in this room that can beat me up right now, that excites me. Because if somebody's beating me up, they're finding flaws and fix those flaws and I'm getting that much better. 
If you can get it once, get it a hundred times. Watch it. Just stay, stay where you can high crotch. You can, you can go or inside trip. You're the best guy in the room already. No one's beating you. You have nowhere to go. You're already at your ceiling, I feel like. So there's people in here that I'm scrapping with. Gotta catch up to. We're uh, about halfway in. You're about halfway. As an individual, I feel like I have a lot to learn still. There's so much more improvement I need to make, like stance-wise, I need to be more sound with my hand fighting. If I'm frustrated, I get a little too aggressive. Like I gotta fix little things and I gotta fix a lot of big things. So maybe 60% there. As soon as your heart rate's back down, you're ready to go, get back in there. You wanna wrestle as much of the 30 as you can. That's quality wrestling. Lift it, cinch it across the back, end the match. So these freshmen come in today, it's only their second workout, and they meet friction, they meet turbulence. But there's no way that any man can be ranked one, two, or three in the country overall, or five, six, or 20, or 30, and not have met turbulence. And the question is, are you gonna be strong enough to hold your ground when you do? So hey, hey, real quick, every man I've ever come across in the sport, 40 years of it, has had days that are really hard, that are really rough. If today was one of those days for you, good, good. Because those are the days that really help us narrow down on things, when things are really rough, right? We think a little deeper, right? We go a little deeper, what do I, what do I need to do? and know that there's one way, typically one way, I think there's one thing in common with all those that have climbed out of that feeling of, man, I, we went 30, I was tired at the five minute mark. Well, it won't always be that way if you give lots of effort and keep giving. Doing less won't help, just doing more, being more organized, maybe, maybe you know, like I said, better nutrition before. Just give more in practice. And over time, it's not gonna change quick. So if you last five today, don't think you're lasting 30 tomorrow. Right? And if you lasted five today against an opponent that's not even really bringing it that hard, imagine what happens when you go with some of the guys in that really bring it hard. All right, well, good practice. You guys are off tomorrow. Yep, you're off tomorrow. And I uh, got pump up, time to get stronger. All right, and then we'll see you Thursday. All right, good work. Good work. Come on in. Good work. Good practice. Let's go Bucks on three. One, two, three. Let's go Bucks! I got put on my head a few times today, but uh, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. I was the nail today a little bit, but uh, you need that. You gotta love that, and um, it's all about improving and having fun. It's a rite of passage, and what a warrior does is they assess the glitches that need to be closed, and you close them, you start closing the gap. And those that leave here feeling sorry for themselves for too long will never close the gap. And those that leave here thinking that was fantastic, every gap that I have was exposed, here's how I'm gonna close it, are gonna go on to be Ohio State legends. You're gonna be way better off if you're caught, if you're here. It takes about 720 days, I think. Of, of pure suffering to really advance yourself at this level. It's so competitive. And that's a red shirt, and then you ride the pine for a year. And it's good for you to ride the pine. It's good for you to not get everything you want when you want it. You're just not ready yet. So get better and then find your way in the lineup. Earn your way into the lineup. The goal to have a champion at every weight is the goal, right? Two teams in history have won five weights. But if there might come a point in time where you may be in a war with someone who's the top five guy in the country. At some point, we gotta make a choice. They knew that. It's what they knew they were walking into, and good for them. I remember in 2015, whenever the Ohio State Buckeyes took the NCAAs, and I wanna be a part of that. So I, I want to win the NCAAs.